Good evening. A welcome to the Extreme Interview Series. My name is Alistair St. John St. John. And it's my pleasure this evening to welcome Sir Martin Sorrell, Chief Executive Officer of WPP, one of England's finest companies. Sorry. Oh, sorry, one of Ireland's finest companies. Sir Martin, it's a pleasure to have you here in our studios. May I call you Marty? The answer is no. Okay, then, Sir Martin it is. Now, you have managed to build one of the world's largest marketing services companies. How do you manage it? It manages you. Really? See, I'm surprised. I thought it would be a challenge to coordinate all the sort of global departments between media and creative and research and all of that. It's not complex, but... I'm shocked. I mean, who would have thought that running a massive holding company would be so easy? The answer is it's immensely difficult. Wait, I thought you just said it was not that complex. No. I'm confused. Are you asking no or answering no? And I think the answer is no. Uh, OK, let's move on, shall we? Uh, now, WPP is the largest media buying company, correct? We're smaller than we were last year by about 8%. Smaller? But I thought you passed Omnicom last year. Are you sure? Uh, as somebody of diminutive stature, I know what being small is. Well, I'm not going to touch that one, at least not since June 21st. Let's move on. And now, Mark Reed is your head of digital, and some would say he's your consigliere. Um, I understand that he had to pass a rather rigorous test in order to get his job. What was that test? But all you had to do was to draw three circles, you know, they would intersect. Doesn't sound like rocket science now, does it? Easy to say, but very difficult to do. Let me ask you, where does the balance of power lie between creative and media? So you, you tend to get pulled to one thing or the other. And how would you rate your job in managing these diverse interests and, you know, getting these people to work harmoniously together? I've been remarkably unsuccessful in doing that. I suppose it ultimately comes down to the people. Well, I, I've always been somewhat cynical, you know, about, about people. And speaking of people, let's talk about recruiting. Where do you get your best M&A people, for example? Canada. Really? Chalk one up for young Miss Spence. Let's move on. You've got an upcoming stream conference in Athens, Greece. Now, if the rumours are true, some of your participants may be experiencing bed bugs at the Club Med facilities. I think they'd be rather upset to hear you say that. For good reason. I mean, could we assume that your team is on the case to make sure this doesn't happen again? I don't think. Sometimes they are and sometimes they're not. Mostly they're not, actually. So what about this year? Do you think things are getting better? I mean, are things getting better? I say they're getting less worse. Those bed bugs are prodigious breeders, you know. So in that sense, it may not be over for a long time. Bloody hell. I've heard at Stream that you were going all out on entertainment. Is this true? Yes, that's right. So you will be remunerating uh, those that perform at Stream, are you? The answer is no. Not at all? No. Anything? No. A smidgen? No. Sir Martin, what do you think of this new Luma Partners? Apparently, strategic advisory, much better position than, say, traditional bankers like a Goldman Sachs. In a way, I, I see this as an unstoppable, irreversible shift in the balance of economic power. Well, that might be overstating things just a little. I must say, Sir Martin Sorrell, this has been a true pleasure. For the Extreme Interview Series, this is Alistair St. John signing off.